If you remember the old days of Windows, you will realize that back then most of us have antivirus programs installed on our computers. It was treated as an essential piece of software and when you buy a new computer it usually comes with it. But what is the situation in 2020 with Windows 10? Do we still need to use antivirus software? Let's find it out. First, we need to make a research. I go over many forums and websites to find the reliable information. Like with many things, people generally share their personal opinions and they differ a lot. Some people say that the Windows Defender is great, some say that it is insufficient. So I decided to research for a security institution which makes research on security software and found AV test, which is an independent organization based in Germany. They make tests on many antivirus programs, they rate them and they release results on a regular basis. Their ratings are based on three factors, which are protection, performance and usability. These factors are easy to understand, however, they do have detailed explanations, so I will provide links in the description. Now, let's look at the results from August of 2020. The results you are seeing right now are for home users. We will look into business users in a second. This chart is especially nice because you can see the comparison with many other antivirus so uh, software as well. As you can see, Windows Defender scored 6 out of 6 on every category, which looks good. Same scenario also apply for the business users. But remember that business use is different from enterprise level usage. Enterprise level security is whole another level and you cannot work on those environments without knowing that you have enterprise level support. Anyway, this gives us the general idea, which is in home environments, if the user is conscious, the likelihood of getting a malware, trojan or viruses is low. And that is actually a really important thing. Even if you operate on a very secure system, if you did something wrong, then the results can be bad. We did see a similar case on Stuxnet, which involves around an offline system. All in all, if you are familiar with tech, you regularly update your devices and you know that entering sites like this is not a good idea, then yeah, you probably don't need any additional antivirus programs. Also, some of these antivirus programs are kind of like a bloatware, so not using them is a benefit as well. But if you are not very keen with tech, then it might be a good idea to get an antivirus software. But just don't buy a random one, get some help from a knowledgeable person. Also, I recommend you to stay away from the free products as well. And that's basically it for this video and I hope you've liked it. If that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you next time. Take care.